guys. Um, yeah. Obviously, I have a spirit hood on. Oh, I just got it in the mail today. I'm so excited. It's so cool. I've been wanting one forever. And they're like not as warm as like they look. Like I thought that it would be like really hot to wear, but it's not at all. It's actually really comfortable and roomy. Um, and see a little pause. Hello. Oh uh, yeah. So in honor of my new spirit hood, I am going to do a video on totem animals. So yay! Um, sorry, my hair is like really bothering me. There we go. Um, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about them. Uh, I'm not an expert on totem animals in any way, but I've been interested in them pretty much my entire life. Um, because I'm part Native American, so obviously that kind of, um, as I learned more about my heritage, I came to be interested in totem animals and Native American spirituality. Um, and I just love animals anyway, so. The way that I first started learning about totem animals was through Native American spirituality, because in school we would always read stories that took place in the Native American society when, you know, back in the olden days. I started researching it, and I started to find out uh, where I fell in the scope of all of this. Um, I'm gonna take... There we go. <laughs> I was getting a little distracting, and I couldn't really hear myself talking. American astrology and things like that, um, it's determined what moon you were born under. My moon is the harvest moon because my birthday is on September 3rd. Um, so it falls within August 23rd through September 22nd. Um, and so being born under the harvest moon means that, ironically, my totem animal is the brown bear. Um, I have always loved bears and so it kind of makes sense because my totem animal is the brown bear. That's just my birth totem. Um, there are so many other totems. In the Native Americans, there are nine totems, and they're your power totems. And I'm going to read off um, the different, what each one is. There is your power totem for the east, the south, the west, the north, above, below, within, and your right side, and your left side. Um, and obviously each of these mean different things. Um, sorry, I haven't memorized this, so I'm basically reading off of a web page. The animal or creature in our east guides us to our greatest spiritual challenges and also guards our path to illumination. Um, and that can correspond to Western views about the directions as well, because in the Western astrology, the East represents air and knowledge and wisdom and illumination, basically, um, because that's where the sun rises. So it kind of correlates together, which I think is really, really cool. The South. The child within us is protected by our power totem of the South. It reminds us of when to be humble and when to be trusting so that innocence will be balanced within our personality. West. We are led to our personal truth and inner answers by the totem of our West. This totem also shows us our path to our goals. North. Our animal of the North gives us wise counsel reminding us when to speak and when to listen. North animal also reminds us to be grateful for each blessing of each day. Above. We are reminded by our above animal totem to honor the great star nation and that we came from the stars and will someday return to them. This power totem guards our dream time. Below. We are taught about the inner earth and how to stay grounded on our path by our below totem. Within. Our animal or creature totem of within shows us how to find our inner joy and to be faithful to our personal truths. Our sacred space is protected by this spirit guide. Our right side. 
Walking with us on our right is our protector of our male side. This animal totem carries our courage and warrior spirit. It will always be our protector from within. And that also correlates to Western spirituality, I guess, is because the right side has always been male and the left side has always been female. So positive and negative, light and dark, yin and yang, and all that jazz. The left side. Our female side has a protector, too. Walking on our left side, this animal teaches us about relationships and mothering, along with learning to receive abundance. Left side animal totem reminds us to nurture ourselves as well as others in our path. Those are the nine power totems that each person has. Um, and each person is also, depending on what moon they're born under, is born into one of the four clans. Um, and honestly, I can't remember what they are right now. It's so awful. I really should have done more research before I made this video, but I didn't. I was lazy. I didn't feel like it. And I just really wanted to make a video. Anyway, so the clan I was born under is the Turtle Clan. And despite what you may think, the element of the Turtle Clan is actually Earth, not water. So that's interesting, and that also correlates to my astrological sign, which is Virgo, and that is the element of Earth. So, you know, it all meshes together, so it's a lot easier to understand than some people might think. And like I said before, my animal totem that chose me when I was born, so the one that I was born under, is the brown bear. And it's not just bears in general, it's specifically the brown bear. Um, and basically, the brown bear represents playful curiosity, but not in a childlike way because the brown bear will protect itself and its young and its other kind if it is threatened. It can be very ferocious, but it's also a very playful and curious sort of animal, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, that's what my totem is. And they also have mineral and plant totems. My mineral totem is amethyst, and my plant totem is violet, and purple is my color totem, obviously. I'll probably make a follow-up video to this because I know that I haven't been very clear. I don't know all of my nine power totems because I haven't researched it that much to be able to find that out, and I haven't really done enough introspection within myself to be able to get into contact with those totems, but I promise that I will make another video once I start to find these things out. You also have totems for other aspects of your life, and the one totem that I have always known was my totem was Lynx, a Lynx, which is a type of big cat, and it is in the cougar family, a lot of people they just think they're the same thing, but they're not. Um, I'll put a picture of a lynx either like here or at the end of the video. Yeah, I've always felt connected to them, and when I started reading about them as a totem animal, I was like, that is one of my totem animals. Um, and another one is also the rabbit. Um, that's kind of like my personality totem animal, the animal that I connect to on a very personal level, in that they're, it's kind of like... If I was an animal, that's the animal that I would be. So, I guess that's it. Um, if anybody else has anything to add to this, make a video response or a comment or something. And I'm sorry I sounded so, like, spacey, but I'm still sick, in case you can't tell. I mean, I'm a little bit better, but I'm not totally over it yet. And I can't hear out of this ear, so I'm sorry if I'm talking, like, really, really loud, but I can't hear anything. But yeah, leave a comment or message me or make a video response or if you have any questions, comment or message me or whatever, like I just said. And go like my Facebook page because 
I'm sorry. I, I want to get that going just because so many people ask me, do you have a Facebook? And I'm like, yeah, but it's my personal Facebook, so go to my page. So yeah, I'll put the link down there. I'm sorry I keep using it because I probably look like an idiot right now. Um, and I'll put the link to the website that I was using in this video. Um, it's very, very helpful. So yeah, I will see you guys later and go buy Spirit Hood because they're awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye!